What's going on, guys? Got a good one for you today. Today, we're back with another unboxing. This one's going to be a little bit different. Today, we're doing a microphone. So let me talk about it a little bit first. Um, typically, I will record my demos with your traditional SM57, and I'm never really that happy with the tones that come from that, especially when they're unprocessed. And I've done a little bit of research, and we all know our favorite YouTubers. They use multiple microphones, and one of the microphones that they use is a ribbon mic. Well, those get pretty expensive, but I found a ribbon mic for $230, and so I decided I'm going to experiment with it and see if that will meet my needs. So what I bought was it's a Guitar Center brand Sterling. It is the Sterling ST170 Active Ribbon Microphone. And then I've also bought the Sterling UMS Utility Microphone Shield because with a ribbon microphone, it has, uh, the mic is actually on both sides and I live in an apartment, so it's very difficult to accomplish certain levels in order to get the right tones. So what I'm gonna do is experiment with this and see how this works out. I think this is going to serve my needs. Um, eventually, I'm going to be recording my demos and my guitar covers and whatever with dual mics, and it'll be hopefully this ribbon mic and then also the Shure SM57. Um, at the moment, <clears throat> what I'm looking at is the SC Electronics Guitar RF Sound Shield, and it looks like this, but it's on back order and not available. So what I ended up buying was this UMS Sterling uh, utility microphone shield, which will serve sort of the purpose of what I need for the time being. But the um, guitar RF, the SE piece of equipment, that actually will mount both microphones side by side. It eliminates phasing issues. Um, I'm going to do a full unboxing of it when it becomes available and I get it, but for today, it's going to be all about these two items. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you over to the bench and we're going to unbox these things up close so you get a real good up close look at it. And then I'm going to set this up and um, do a couple sound samples for you, for you and for me, because this is the first time experimenting with it, so I'm not even sure how it's even going to turn out. But we're going to be using the EVH 5153 Stealth with an EVH 212 cab. Um, it's going to be no post-processing. We're just going to do the raw tone out of it and see how it works out. Um, I'm going to give you a couple sound samples. One will be, I'll be using my ESP LTD MH 1001 NT that's got EMGs in it. The second sample I'll give you, actually with the first sample, I'm going to have that in drop B. The second sample will be in drop C. That's going to be my Jackson Dinky. It's got a Nazgul in the bridge, so it'll give you a little bit of an active uh, variant and a little bit of a passive variant, and we'll We'll see together whether it sounds good or not. And when I'm doing the sound samples, what I'll do is I'll throw the camera down onto the microphone so you can see real up close what the setup is. And there'll just be a couple little samples. This is totally a metal tone demo. Um, I've done a bunch of research. I can't find anything with metal tones using this microphone. So I'm not even sure how it's gonna turn out. So we're gonna find out together. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it one last time. And let's do this. Let's go to the bench.
So my final thought, in my opinion, the tones turned out really well. It sounded so much different than the 57. It'll be, I'll be really interested to see how it sounds when you blend the two together in that same sort of scenario. So they fill that frequency spectrum of each one. Um, but that all aside, I think it sounded really, really good. I'm going to start using that for my guitar co covers, my um, demos, everything that I do from here on forward um yeah um i'll put all applicable links down in the description below let me know down in the comments if you've tried one of these sterling st170 ribbon microphones and let me know what you think uh if you have any suggestions to make the tone better let me know um that's all i got for you for today don't forget to subscribe like and share follow me on instagram and we'll see you next time